All right, hello everybody, Frankie here with an update on what's going on with the infrastructure package, the stimulus $3.5 trillion stimulus package, as well as what's going on with the government shutdown, along with the uh, potential for a default, a government default for the first time ever here in the United States, which would mean a lot of trouble um, for a lot of people here. Um, so listen closely. Now, we had a procedural vote in the House or in the Senate yesterday that failed 48 to 50. That means 48 Democrats voted yes, yay, and 50, every single Republican voted no against this. So what does that mean? That means that we didn't hit the 60 mark, which is the filibuster rule in the Senate, because this is not using reconciliation um, to fund the government and raise the debt ceiling, which is what they need to do here in the next uh, almost just 48 hours or just a little bit more than that, um, or the government will shut down um, Thursday night at midnight or Friday morning, whatever you want to call it. Thursday night, right at midnight, the government will shut down um, as soon as Friday, as soon as the clock start, strikes midnight, if they don't come to a deal of some sort before then. So they're scrounging, believe me. Um, they're not just sitting there picking their nose. They're definitely they're scrounging around, trying to get this... Uh, in fact, Chuck Schumer even reserved his vote. Um, he voted no on purpose because you have to reserve your vote. If you vote yes, you can't really take that back. You vote no, then it pretty much reserves your right to vote again on the uh, continuing resolution is what they call it. So you'll see that a lot in here. Um, what I really want to get to, though, is if the government does default, um, say it does it October 15th, it could do that before then, or it could do it a little bit after. The more likely scenario would be before then, though, since we're actually having a shutdown um, by the very end of the month, Thursday night at midnight. Um, there's a very high probability that this is going to happen. Um, there is a high probability we are going to have a first ever U.S. defaulted government, and they're going to completely run out of money to fund Social Security, which may be delayed in November by two mo two weeks or more. Um, some people may not get their checks when they expect to. How are you going to pay your rent? You know, see, this, uh, this affects you significantly. You have to listen very closely to all these videos and rewind them if you need to. But this affects every single American um, in some way, some form, because it's going to completely destroy um, the economy that was trying to build. It was it was trying because we have had three stimulus packages already, so it, it fed into the economy and helped. But now we're just crash and burn because, all because why? Because the Republicans don't want to get on board and they don't want to give us any votes um, to keep the government open. They basically think it's just our job to do that when you can't pass a reconciliation bill in days. It takes weeks. So I don't know what that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if any of you, uh, if that makes sense to you, put down what exactly that means because <laughs> I don't understand that. Um, but it's hard to understand everything. There's a lot going on. And I think in the end, the stimulus package worth $3.5 trillion will probably get trimmed a little bit down to 2.5, maybe $3 trillion. Um, It's going to have to because Joe Manchin won't give in still um so best thing the best advice i could say to you is try to save exact every money every penny that you can at this moment um if you're getting social security right now you will get those checks in october on the first when you expect them but come november we you may have to wait till the middle of the month before you see your payment and there's some chance that it could be cut there's some chances that it could be reduced so this is very significant. Um, food stamps could go down. Everything could just go down, um, except for the hurt. The, the it's just it's just cataclysmic disaster that's about to happen. Um, if we cannot get this last vote in on Thursday, along with the stimulus package, it's toast. Everything's pretty too much toast at that point. So. All right, that's all I got for today, guys. Not very much good news, unfortunately. I really don't have much gander or anything today. Uh, 
it's just not looking too good. We're already approaching that deadline here. It's the 28th, so we got about 48 to 60 more hours. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you uh, probably Thursday morning before the votes proceed and after as well. Until then, uh, have a nice day, and I'll see you then.